Nice, dude. Letting us have this house today. It's a bigger packed house. All right, guys. I'm nobody special. I'm uh, I'm Jason. I'm 17. I go to Brookwood High School. Um, a little bit about me. Uh, before I started this company is I love business in general. Um, I'm just a business kind of guy. Um, so I, I actually started my own business before this. And um, I, really, I really saw that, you know, in business, that if you don't put in the time and the effort, you don't make any money. And so when, I'll explain a little bit, but when I saw this business for the first time and I saw the concept about it, I knew I saw that you know this can really change the you know how how business is done how I do business in general so you know a little bit about me I uh, I worked at Job Journey of the Broke at Kroger I was Kroger's brick bitch um, you know I, I was bagger I was cashier but you know the one thing I didn't like was is that you know I had to clock in clock out my boss told me when I can go on lunch like I'm not hungry bitch. Like, I don't want to eat, like, why, why are you telling me when I can eat? Like, you're, you're, like, make 50 cents more than I do. So I didn't really like that. So I, I knew that if I wanted something different, I have to do something different. Wow. So, you know, I saw this business for the first time. My friend Andreas actually brought me out to an event, um, not like this at all. But, uh, you know, there was, like, five, ten people in the room. And, um, you know, I, I've been in, I've been in, Every kind of business that you can think of, you know, so I was very skeptical. So don't think that if you're skeptical right now that you're any different than any of us, you know. We were all skeptical as fuck, but <laughs> <laughs> now, now it's really changed our perspective on things. So, like, you know, like, my, my first time, um, you know, coming, he was like, yo, man, he called me up, he's like, yo, dude, I got this cool opportunity for you. And I was like, hey, man, and like, I thought I knew everything, so I was like, hey, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And uh, he was like, no, dude. He's like, there's kids making five grand a month out on the West Coast. And I was like, dude, what kind of drugs are they selling? <laughs> you know? And, and he was like, no, dude, it's this, it's this company called Bima. And I was like, oh, you know, I've already been in, like, Vector and FCA and all that crap. You know, so I was like, man, this really, this really sucks. You know, like, and um, so he was really persistent. He hit me up again. He was like, hey, Jay, you know, I really want to do a Skype call. Um with some, like, some guy, and I was like, what the hell, like, I'm not going to Skype somebody I don't know, you know what I'm saying, and so, like, he really, and then he hit me up again, he's like, hey, man, what are you doing, I thought we were just going to hang out, and he was, uh, and he, uh, he was like, uh, I was like, nothing, and he was like, all right, meet me at Chili's, and I was like, Fuck. all right, so, we, we go to Chili's, and, um, you know, that, from that day on, I'm not the cheesy kind of person, but, like, my, my life has been changed from that day on, um, you know, and, I got out of the car, and he pulls up in front of my car, I'm like, dude, are you going to park? And he's like, no, we're going somewhere. And I was like, great. And so, like, we ended up going to my buddy Felipe's house, and uh, I was able to meet two guys in the room, uh, you know, that really had what I wanted. They're 24 years old, they make over six figures, and they don't have a job. So I don't know about you guys, but who in here wants to be a millionaire? Yes. Everybody. Come on. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to do it? You're going to be on a game show? <laughs> you know, like, no, you're not going to. So you have to have a vehicle to get you to where you want to be. So I really, you know, I, I wasn't going to be that guy that, you know, I have people in here that are going to share an opportunity with me to change my life. And I'm not going to be that guy to not listen. So, you know, they, they really opened my eyes to a, a whole new concept, really. And, you know, from that day on, it's, it's history, you know, um, my, my first week in the business, I made 700 bucks. Ooh. You know, in my first month, I made just over 1000 So I don't know about you guys, but that's your part-time job. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. Okay? I'm no different than you. I go to school, I go to high school, whatever. You know, many of you are in college. So if I can do it, you can do it. That's what I believe. I believe success is an option. I think that if you want it bad enough, you will do whatever it takes to get it. Let's go. Yeah. And so that's what I've really done with this business. I've really kind of ducked my head, ran with it, met so many new people, guys. You know, I didn't know anybody in this room, but little do I know, these are lifetime friends. You know, these are guys who want what I want. Because, you know, a, a guy in the room, he actually said, he said, you are a product of your five closest friends. So I sat back and I looked and I said, 
broke, broke, broke. Okay, I know, I know this, is, this is weird, but everybody has that friend who thinks he's rich and he's broke. Okay, and broke. So by affiliation, what does that make me? Broke. 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 Yeah. Okay, so I, I didn't want to be broke. I wanted something different. You know, I had a job at Kroger making $100 a week. Okay, my truck takes 70 bucks to fill up. So by the time, I mean, I, I turned the corner, I was out of money. Like, you know? so, so I didn't want that, so I knew I had to make a change. So, you know, I really just took this idea, and like I said, I've run with it. You know, and I, I really hope you guys see the vision. Knock your skeptical shield down, because, you know, this isn't something like we're going to freaking shoot you or anything if you don't say what we're going to say or do what we're going to do. But, you know, guys, really have an open mind. Because the most expensive thing in this economy is a closed mind. Wow. Okay? Your mind okay. is like a parachute. If it's closed, it doesn't work. Mm, it. Okay? So, really, really keep an open mind. Think about what you're doing now and where you want to be in a year. Do you want to be in a year making six figures? Do you want to be in a year driving the car you want to drive? Yes. Sir. Yes. I don't know about you guys, but I want to. So I really, I really had to look back and I, I said, you know, these guys that I'm hanging out with aren't the guys that I want to hang out with. Wow. So I really had to make a change, not only from my mindset, but from my friends, you know, who I'm hanging out with, who, like, who really has my back, who really wants to do what I want to do. You know, so listen up to these guys because, you know, these guys are really, have really killed it in the business, you know, and I, I'm slowly but surely, you know, trying to, be with, I hang out with them, so I, if I say what they say and I do what they do, I'm going to get what they get. Yes. And, you know, um, so that's really what I've done. But I, I'm going to bring up somebody who really changed the game for me. Okay? This guy, you know, he's, he's known all around Georgia for this business. You know, he's taken, this is international. Everybody in this business knows that he's a new leader in Georgia. You know, so, so really listen up because he can really open your mind and give you some insight on what's going on, you know, and so I'm just going to bring up Mr. Julian Torok over here. Let's go, dude. Nice.